Hello there and welcome to another episode of Mass Effect 2. Today we are doing the first mission given us to us by the uh, elusive man where we are going to investigate a colony. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Why have we got... We have got 341,000 credits. And we've got 57,000 of these items. Oh god, I remembered what this game does. Oh, probing. Probing. Anyway, let's go see Miranda and Jacob. Jacob. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Why is just remember who's in charge an option? That sounds very, um, bad. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. I mean, boob sock. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I mean, we had an attitude I first. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. Mm. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Unlike Completely her. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? Probably more mechs. A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Plenty of men are trying to tap me, so I don't really care about you. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Cool. Is there anything else on there? No. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jakob. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Yeah. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. The hell is a Corsair? I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. So we were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Okay. That's all for now. Yes, sir. So something in this game, which I haven't really pointed out yet, is uh, friendship matters. <laughs> we have to ensure that we basically stay 
nice with these people, all of the people in this game, uh, because it will unlock uh, loyalty missions for them, which we must complete before we go into the final mission in the game to ensure that they will uh, live to get into the next game. That's what I'm going to say about that. And yeah, we have end of mission screens. Long service bonus. You received the following bonus for having beaten Mass Effect 2. I beat Mass Effect 1? Is this part of the legendary thing? You received the following bonus for importing a level 53 character. 190 Paragon, 35 Renegade. Okay. Okay, we've already seen that. We got a new heavy weapon. We level got to level four, gained two squad points. We got seven thousand credits. Cool. Now we should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Um. Uh, what did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack. No corpses. Not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Who? Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. It'd be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. So this is our first actual mission. Annoyingly. I've still I think I've still just got a pistol, which is so shit. Oh, I keep forgetting how um crazy the this is. Oh, we have got additional weapons. Shotgun. Nice. Oh, we just have a shotgun. Uh, fine. Let's go. Oh, it's really it looks dark. like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Okay. I like how he's got the spooky music as well. Let's go this way. I think we're gonna get into a fight for no a while. Bodies, no structural damage, no signs of battle. Can we go up here? Can we go up here? No. Oh man. So I'm trying not to sneeze. Oh no! Strange. Security systems were the other What the hell is this hang on? Hold up a second, what is this handgun? Oh, I've got two handguns. How do I? Oh, it's a machine pistol. Yeah, I want the heavy pistol. That thing has no accuracy. Hostiles. Shoot them before they take out your shields. You're done. Um, sorry. I want my shotgun. Give me my shotgun. Oh my god. Where? Um, I'll let you two deal with him. There you go. Thank you. 
Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Give me a second. Sorry, my new desk has a really stiff uh, keyboard um, desk on it. Two hands. So, the F keys do not quick change my weapons. Uh, I've got to learn to press shift. Right. I see salvage bear parts sitting there. Oh. Oh. Take the make it first. Highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before you run out of time. All right. Uh, three lines, I see. What? Okay. Line, resistor, resistor, resistor. C, C. Wi Fi upside down, Wi Fi upside down. These two boys. Mouse sensitivity is a little bit high. I can turn it down on my mouse. So I got, a, I got a moose. Why is this? Why is the lighting engine not affecting this glass? Um, you know what? I'm gonna do this and swap back to this heavy pistol. They see you, Shepard. Thanks, bro. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm all right. I'm all right, bro. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. <laughs> we got squad nuts. We got to level them boys up. Um, what does this need? Oh, that's his loyalty. So yeah, see, loyalty. Loyal squad member is not loyal. Creates a shield that soaks damage. Hmm. Now I can either give him three into pull, which will basically give him nine seconds. We can give him a second. That, uh, 30%, 10% more damage from that. I um, think I'm going to do that for now. Uh, Mirinda. Overload warp. So what's overload do? We have a one into that. There we go. Shepard, we have none because we didn't last episode. There we go. Just go back into that real quick. I mean, there's another wall safe. Wait, did we just go back into the same place? I swear we just went back into this. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, hello, quarians. Stop right there! Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human They rebuilt me like I'm a robot. You pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. You have crowds in a small settlement. That he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. 
I'm not going to ask why do you hate Cerberus. It's pretty obvious why they hate Cerberus. They're pro-human, which means they're anti-anything that's not human. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. I mean, she doesn't seem that bothered to see someone who she thought was dead was two years. She's just like, oh, Shepard, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Oh, okay. Why do none of these glasses have any effect from the light engine? This, I mean, if this was default Mass Effect 2, fine. This is the legendary edition where they've upgraded the game. I mean, Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Hello. Thanks for the warning. Oh, oh, we'll take okay, care. they just, they just disappeared. Mm -hmm. Okay then, bro. I got my pinky on, on the, on the bottom, bro. Don't worry. We've been spotted. Yeah, I'm a dickhead. Apparently I can't. Um, is it because I'm in battle? Are we, are, we, are we in battle? Can you guys get out of the way? Are we Are we in battle? We've been spotted. Alright. I mean, it's playing the battle music. Who have we been spotted by? I don't see any enemies. Look, there's no enemies on the nearby thing. Did that just bug out because I tried to unlock the safe in, in the battle and it was just like, nah, bro. Oh, well. Oh, well. Can you get off the... I mean, Lego floor, man, aren't they? And... Use overload on them. Um, yeah. Alright. Enemy down. Oh, I don't know why I'm looking at this screen. One left. Yeah. Yes. Got him. Um, there's more? Oh, okay. I can't go back now. Oh, they wouldn't man. listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Yeah. It's like a med kit. No, good. Here we go. <clears throat> One left. Oh my god, how many of these things are you gonna send at me, bro? Drop them. Alright, I'm gonna fortify myself so I don't die. I want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm we'll gonna take do cover that. by the doors. Shepard, you take point. So, do you remember that big ass mech? Do you remember that big ass mech? Do you remember it? Do you remember it? A big motherfucker that was in the opening stage. All right. You must... Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Uh, you can go there. Right. And you can go there. Taking cover. And oh god. Go. You go over there. And I'm gonna hide here. God damn it. Heading to cover. Do I have Take to point, Shepherd. Do I have we'll to stand right in front of the door? Oh good, I'm gonna get mashed up. Um I'm gonna immediately this and just get this uh, big old grenade launcher out. This boss battle. Yep, you remember this boy? The one who was slaughtering everyone. 
Damn, son. Don't worry, Will. We'll take him out with the power of... That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Mm-hmm. I agree. Defense systems active. Overlord will take out that shield. Oh, will it? Oh, god damn it. There we go. I keep forgetting you got to aim at him. Why can't I shoot? There we go. All right, now we ain't got no more heavy ammo. Shotgun. <coughs> They're still recharging. Warp is heavy armor, weak. Um, machine pistol. Hell yeah! But you can't say clear the blast zone and then my boy is literally standing on top of him and he explodes instantly. All right. There's another one there, but hopefully. Damage Jimmy and Mech. So we came from there. I just want to make sure we get all the goodies. Actually, we didn't even come from anywhere. Ooh, fragile crate. Uh, Mirinda. This should scramble their systems. Does that, no? I thought, might, I thought you know, might get some goodies out of it or something, I don't know. Oh, there's Tali. Don't want to talk to Tali just yet, I'm sorry. I think that will progress the mission. Yeah, I'm gonna save just in case I screw this up because I want to make sure I loot this place. Uh, let's do a new save because it's a new episode. Just just in case anything happens, the real footage just happened before. Find iridium, sure. This looks interesting. Ooh, scientist upgrade. I wonder if we're gonna do that. Oh, yep, yeah, we screwed Monsters that up. coming back. protect. <laughs> Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Mm. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Well. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. So I mean, make saves. Hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm. Form a paragon action. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Um, line? The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. Fine. Why didn't the collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. 
seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the collectors. So is everyone. Nobody knows much. Exactly. No. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. I think that's it, right? Yep. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. Yeah, just take You're his Omni tool. You don't need him. Data, but please, just let me take him. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. She won't join you if you ask, by the way. We're ready for pickup. Unfortunately, I think we missed out on some goodies, but it's early game. I don't think it's anything like game breaking you're going to discover. Shepard. Good work on Freedom's progress. Good work on Freedom. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. What well, being nice to people. <laughs> you see, I'm I'm kind of a dick, and that makes people hate me. Do you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had mm -hmm. my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about so it? So much exposition. Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number. Because you f them up. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That's that why I think. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already okay, compiled a list of soldiers, and scientists, like he stepped and out of the range. <laughs> You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. 
When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. But do they want you? That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Basically, the explanation for this is some of these characters could have died. So they can't write a story for Caden or Ashley, depending on who you saved, because they can't guarantee they'll be in the game as much. Rex also could have died when, if you got hostile with him on um, the Seren's base with, with the uh, Krogan clones. So he couldn't really play a major part. Tali was guaranteed to survive, Liara was, and Garrus was. So that's why they're saying some of them may have moved on. So they can be in the game, but they can't really play a major part in the game because you don't know if they're going to be around. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. You're way scared of her because she's an amazing hacker and he's all about his secrecy. I think that's what his big problem with her is. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Mm -hmm. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. He would have jerked off, but he might break his arm doing so. Oh my god. I mean, they kind of spoil it with his hat. It says SR2. Here is the SR2. Which is kind of weird if you think about the fact that they said this was a experimental, top of the range ship, you know. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? Mud. I guess we'll have to give her a name. Why? <laughs> it's already called DSR2. Wow, we're gonna call it Normandy again for some reason. Normandy 2, the Normandia. But it's top secret experimental ship. They just happen to have the plans for it and just built one. You know, this terrorist organization. Kind of makes you think, doesn't it? And when it gets destroyed at the end of this game, we have the SR3. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this end of the end of the mission level up thing, but whatever. There we 
good. Oh, we got my hoodie on, bro. Man's chilling. Hey, he's sitting backwards to be piloted. He's kind of facing inside the ship. What was his chair turn around? Why are they all just smiling? Like? <laughs> Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I mean, it's not like he missed it. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. We will. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's <laughs> artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. For some reason, they made me look like a cross between a penis and a vagina. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. How did you get that suit on? Man, if you ever try putting a wetsuit on, you'll understand. You will understand. Yep, private terminal. Guns. Elevator. Yep, there's a captain quarters now and a lab. Ugh, so much to do. Alrighty. Team status. Check this out. This is your steam. Cycle appearance. But well, we can make her just like that. That boob sucks better. Jakob. I can't I cycle his appearance though. Ah, fine. As you can see, there's quite a lot of people in this game <laughs> compared to the last one. Upgrades. Remember messages. Mark all as well. Meet with Zaid Masani. So this is a DLC. Uh, I think we gotta go downstairs, right? There's a weapons locker. So this one is kind of different. Can we? I don't think we can change anything because I don't think we have anything to change, do we? Yeah, two options. Oh, we just have the arc projector. Um, I need to sup a bit more. Oh. Sorry, not being able to move my chair because of having a little room for the, for the for the meantime for this recording session is a pain in the ass, literally and figuratively. Um, yeah, let's go with the arc projector. See, these have no options. I don't have any secondary guns. Um, much I can do here. Okay, that's locked. Here's all the guns that we have that I don't have. There's ED, I believe, or is that the drive? I don't know the drive. Here's Jakob. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in, and I want to say that working with it's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best walks to make sure we talk. succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. You gotta do this, unfortunately. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. Mm-hmm. 
But if the collector threat is real and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Ooh, or yeah. we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. My name's Jacob, not Jacob. All right, Jacob. Four paragons. I guess we gotta go down here. Let's go to my cabin. I don't know, let's have a look around. It's all new. We got <laughs> literally just goes to Shepard's cabin. Hey, look, we have an aquarium with no fish in it. I wonder what we're gonna be doing. Hey, look, we got medals and stuff. I don't really care. Nope, that's the same thing that's down there. Don't really care about any of that. Being customized our gear, we've already seen that. Sound system, select the music. Again, don't really care. I think later on, like, you can, I mean, it's not really spoilers. You can get model ships to place here. You can buy them from stores. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's your fucking quarters. It's larger than Idiot. the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Okay, penis China. Also, you notice there's not 600 year loading times as we go between floors. Um, combat information center, cruise quarters. Let's go to the crew quarters. Why not? Quite a load time. Oh, not standing in the lift why it just talks to you. Women's restroom. Why would I be able to open the women's restroom? Like, Wagwan, bro. Um, oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Salam, crew oh, member Patel. Uh, life support can't open. Port observation deck can't open. More random people talking. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. We can actually talk to this guy. My doilies. What's this? Nice Miranda's story. office. Okay, so she's here. Let's talk to this bro. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Sorry, Sergeant bro, I can't Rupert trust you Gardner at all. Here. How can I be a service? You have everything you need. I make do. Oh, do we have but to have bring him food? I remember something like this. a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. Annoying. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm <laughs> He's also the, the um... facilities technician and custodian. <laughs> HVAC, plumbing, uh, non the cabin boy. electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands most of the time. Nice. This ain't no luxury it adds liner. Flavor. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. Y yeah, I'm hoping that's not literal. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? No. I was happy enough. But losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I can I'll wash a toilet and cook a hot dog. Help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I won't take any more. I don't know why he has so much dialogue. Back to work. Back to work. Dr. Chakwa. Even though they kind of spoil it by having a window with her just sitting there. Cool. Salam alaikum. 
Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. Do you get a facelift between it's games? Good to see you alive. See, if you were a normal person, right, and you were given the option, like, you're trying to play a nice guy, would you rather say, good to see you all, why are you here? I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me, yet here I am. She got them Adidas the tech blocks, bro. The kind of you endured would have changed most people, but not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. Boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work What's for that mean? Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We Shen survived Chi the Battle and the Seven of the Rings. Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Cool. I'll see you later, Doctor. So Commander. I think these technically count as loyalty missions for these guys. I don't know if it affects their um, odds of being in the next game. Oh, let's see Paragon for that. We can't go anywhere down there, but we're going to Miranda's office. I know Miranda is definitely one of the people who, because she's a she's a t any team character. I know it applies to. I don't know if it applies to these people. So if we get her brandy, does it mean she lives in the next game, or, or like is there a chance that it does nothing? I don't know. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No. no. Doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I want to know more about you, seems like it's trying to basically um, see what's underneath that skin type bodysuit, so I'm just going to investigate. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. Very generic. The Salarians have the special tasks group, the Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. The elusive man. Why am I even asking this? But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Why well, is that camera so shaky as it moved in? Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions, political, military, scientific, but we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division. Right. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. 
Whatever else Jonas people might say, you how I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. What if he's indoctrinating Even brief you? Encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know Here's about my bed. you. <laughs> well, you probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man. My genetic me. modifications. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Bob's, Physically, I'm Bob's superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced, for a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and well, it's pretty impressive, really. Why'd you have to stand up to say this? No, I want to say so. You're perfect. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Why are these men perfect? Maybe, <laughs> but I'm not. What? I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else, and when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. Do I have to say you're cocky? It kind of sounds like the wrong place to say you're cocky. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's I the guess the money ran out in your face, though. It's the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operation Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. I can't tell if it's like they made her hair too high, so it makes her head look really small, and then her face looks really small compared to her head. Something is off. I mean, she's not... Ugly, but Saint just looks. I'm just like, you look weird. I mean, we've already said you're genetically modified, so I guess you just go. Thanks for the way. information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. How would you like to make a mistake? There's a bed right there. It's for two people, and for some reason has like five pillows. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna lay here if you're willing to make a mistake. No, I can't be bothered at that. It's like, Relationships in these games are so boring. I still think the funniest one I ever saw is Cyberpunk, when you, um... Oh, we gotta go to the bottom deck now. Where you, um, so I played, just played as a dude in Cyberpunk. And there's a bit with the, um... I think she's a black lady? Ooh. And, uh, she basically, like, she's the, um... One of the top people in the the, the, the um, I don't know what they call the, the the guys who you came all the way down here live in the to deserts. See us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. But yeah, like you can date her, and then like, I was like, let's just see what happens. And then you basically have a mutual masturbation scene. And it's fucking hilarious. Hello. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This I remember these two. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably oh, no. find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Everyone needs something, huh? Ugh, I've asked everyone 20 questions, my god. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She Perugia. flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. I can't need anything, is there again? Why did you leave the Perugia? 
After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. I mean, we just asked him about joining Cerberus. We can ask him again. All right. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted partners. that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Jump around. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. Me? We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Carry on. Well do, Commander. Uh, I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you. More Paragon. Don't complain too much. That's the end. So that's the engine. Edie's next to it. Oh, we can just talk to Edie here, apparently. What's this area of the ship? This is Are you fucking stupid? It contains the ship's main fusion plant in Mass Effect 4. It tells you. It literally tells you, bro. Oh, this guy's a, this guy is a bit of a dingleberry. I swear to God. We can go down. All right, let's go down. I mean, we're pretty much. I'm not going to progress much more. We're just going to see everyone in the ship. So we're going down here then, isn't it? I think someone's going to be here considering there's a little desk. So probably when we get one of our hires, this is where they're going to chill out. They sort of post them all through the ship. And you saw there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. So we go back out here. I think all we've got left is to go in here. I don't think we've been here because that's down there. It's cargo hold. We've been there. Elevator. Yeah, we've done everything. Oh. Right, let's go there. We've got a few people to talk to on this level because we haven't talked to anyone here. Welcome oh, aboard, I'm not talking to you just yet. we got to go talk to Joker. Because even though he's talked to him technically in cutscenes, we've not talked to talked to him. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. A love glove. Leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. Well, other than us. There's us. <laughs> exactly. I take what I can get. The last two years sucked. The Paragon option seemed like a dick. <laughs> even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to AI is spying on us? Huh. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. Yeah, you are such a downer. Yeah, exactly. Why are we being such a dick since we went for kind of like the positive option? Commander. I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. Co I just said to for a reason, the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. I like how it's like... We gotta do it. Like, these all seem like bad options. We gotta do it because Cerberus says so. Just mute, mute it, like you call him an idiot, and then like adapt. He's like, grow the fuck up. <laughs> I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. There's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. 
As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, exactly. Saren, Sovereign, Some good old days. and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. This is kind of weird. Your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's it? That's it for now. See you, Commander. Like how I say that's it, and he says, that's it. We've got one more person to talk to. So you know, remember he, he basically was talking about that there's always something to upgrade on the ship. That is important. This final mission is a bastard. It's a bastard. Let me tell you. So like, not only does it determine like who makes it to the next game with loyalty, it also determines like how upgraded your ship is can affect things so you gotta make sure you do all these loyalty missions you gotta find the chef's vegetables we gotta find the coupling for them and them in the in the basement we gotta go find the whiskey for the doctor we're gonna have to find any kind of upgrades we're gonna have to pleasure all of our friends ay 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 anyway let's talk to our um assistant i'm yeoman <laughs> kelly chambers i've been assigned as your administrative assistant i'll manage oh, your messages and help you monitor the crew and i must say it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. It is an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. The pleasure is mine. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Ah, <laughs> sure. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Um... Come is on. there anything I should know? <laughs> Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? No. I always have time for you, Commander. <laughs> What are your responsibilities? Who's your daddy and what does he do? Messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Is that all? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly. So you're like Harley Quinn. Keep your distance. It's good you are here. You're a counselor. Like, there's no good options. Either this is medium or bad. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. If there are warning signs, I put a bullet it's through their temple. It's a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? And why do we keep asking people who are not our friends, who are wearing Cerberus uniforms, do they like Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. You're all very loving. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? No. <laughs> How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. Me. How do I feel? <laughs> Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly Horny. I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Deep inside me. Really? 
I mean, I'm just messing around here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking this. This like, I'd embrace you. <laughs> I'd catch you. I'd drop you. <laughs> you have just fall back and you'd be there, and I'd drop you, mate. <laughs> what the fuck was? Oh, man. Renegade is so funny. I, I, uh, if I wasn't important, Renegade, bro. You gotta be afraid to penetrate pop culture, bring up a lot closer to the block where they pop toast. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? No, I better go. Okay. Maybe she found it enticing later. that I'd embrace her. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> just like do a game where you just try and clap everyone's cheeks. Anyway. <laughs> Mm, galaxy Mob. Now, Shadowbird. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, sorry. I went to move it. I didn't realize you can move it. You can't see this. This is Kiervamori. Zero percent. We got Armada. Explore the Normandy crash site. Zero percent. Fuel the Po. Omega 4 Relay, we got Omega, Recruit Archangel, Recruit the Professor, Recruit the Veteran. So, I can't remember what Exploring the cr normally Crash Site does. Fuel Depot, as you may notice, we don't go click, 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 click. We are moving our ship around right now. I think Fuel Depot only counts when you're traveling between this. So this is one system. So if we go to this this here, we can go to go from Sarah Barrick to Amada. I think there's something to do there. You can just fly around here anyway. But look, here's Ankara or whatever it said, I don't know. Zero percent. Batiliala, zero, father zero. So we have no into the sun! <laughs> um so we can decide what we want to do here. We can hit the mass relay and go to another place. We can go explore these things. Currently, we're not using anything, as you can see here. I don't think we can fuel, can we? Uh, oh, buy probes, buy fuel? We got loads of money. We'll just buy some fuel for now. Uh, buy probes. I want 30 probes, please. Thank you. I'm going to spend the money on something. Um, but yeah, I'm going to decide what we're going to be doing next. I'm going to check up. I want to see what I want to do this in a good order. I, I, I'm forgetful when it comes to things like this, so I don't know. I mean, they're telling us to go recruit the professor in Omega, which we can also recruit Archangel and the veteran there, so we can get three party members off the bat and just go ham. Uh, then we can probably go to the Normandy crash site and then do whatever. Um, no, <laughs> it just jiggled when he came out. Um, it's journal, isn't it? So yeah, we got all this stuff. Overlord is definitely DLC. Hmm. I don't remember what Firewalker is. I might have to look into that. Sorry, I keep slunk, slinking down in my chair over time. Um, I normally crash out. I have to double check these because I think these are all DLC related because in the Legend Edition you get all the DLC as part of the package. You get all three games with all DLC. Um, these things, obviously, I know you got to do. Stop the Collectors. That's the main mission, obviously. Uh, dossier of the Master Feet. Dossier of the Veteran. Go see the Council. Dossier of the Professor, the Warlord, the Archangel, and the Convict. We can do all of these. Um, right, so we're going to save now. Save over, over this one. I'm not going to reload and go and see what the looting thing is. I don't know, maybe you can talk to Tali and she'll give you some more bits and bobs. But I don't think they'll put something that like Fs the game up in the first mission because you clicked on the wrong door. If they do, oh well. Oh well. But anyway, once again, I'm going to just tab out. Oh good. I was going to say, at least I, I changed my game capture method before... Mass Effect 1 would not let me capture the game capture. I had to use window capture. So I think when I tab out, it minimizes the game. And so it would bug out because it had to put an image and it didn't want to show my desktop because the window is still there, but it's just minimized. So it was, the game is just like, what? 
because now it's that's what it's letting me use game capture so it's capturing the last known image of the window before it minimizes. so it doesn't just if i'm recording four episodes it doesn't pick the first image and then do it through every single episode but anyway <laughs> thank you for watching this episode of mass effect 2 episode 2 um i can't tell you what we're going to be doing next because we're probably going to go for the the professor um I'll see the best course of action, so it, it might slightly change. But anyway, join us in two days for the next episode. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.